Hi, my name is Rachel, and I'm the owner of AustinStyleWatch.com Street Fashion Site. I'm also a freelance fashion reporter. And today we're going to talk about how to dress for cold weather. Um, just because it's cold doesn't mean you have to forsake fashion altogether. There's actually ways to modify your cool, trendy outfits, but not totally sacrifice your warmth either. So today I want to talk about some of the ways that I keep my warm and keep my cool at the same time. So the first thing we're going to talk about is layering. If you actually use a little science in your lay layering process, it'll keep you a lot warmer. So what you're going to do close to your body, first of all, is just insulate what's right close to you, break the wind from coming into you. What you're going to do is just use an undershirt, just something light to cover your immediate skin. The next layer you're going to want to put on top of that is something woolly. Now the point of something woolly is that warm air can get trapped in it. So a loose net sweater is actually, that's fine. Anything that'll hold that warm air and hold it close to your body. This is the same way like a, a down comforter works, is that it has that pad of air in there that picks up on your body heat and keeps that warmth in there. So if you have that bottom layer, the fuzzy layer on top, and then the third layer that you're going to put on the very outside of you is going to be something that wicks wind and moisture. And that can be something like a windbreaker or a leather jacket. I really like this one because it's kind of got a cool, nice, puffy sleeve. So just because you're wearing a windbreaker doesn't mean you have to look like you just shopped at REI or anything. There's, there's ways to keep it looking nice. So now we've got our, our main body covered. But the other place we lose a lot of heat from our body is our extremities. And that's our hands, our head, our feet. So we're going to talk about protecting those. One of my secrets is long johns, and they sound really nerdy, but they're invaluable when it comes to warmth. The long john tops are a little hard to hide. They're kind of bulky, but where my real trick lies is with long john bottoms. If you get a really tight pair, which is, which is how long johns should fit, they should fit really tight to your skin, like that, but um, wear them under your jeans. Pull your jeans right on top of it. It doesn't add that much more bulk, and it keeps you million times warmer. Other techniques, if you're like me and like wearing skirts even in the winter, tall socks are really in right now. American Apparel carries some great lines of very tall socks, keep your legs warm. Brightly colored tights, add a little color to any outfit, keep you really warm and they look really classy. They're nice for fancy events. Leg warmers, don't just mean they're from the 80s, you don't have to think that kind of look. These are some nice lace kind of leg warmers give you a different look that's not so Jane Fonda. And finally, and this is a little Avril Lavigne, and you may think it's a little too young for you, but, uh, but it can be modified and different colors can be added. But arm warmers have a little thumb hole and a finger hole. Keep the rest of your arm warm under your coat. So you can keep your fashion dressed warmly. This has been How to Dress for Cold Weather.